So the other thing is that it's gender shouldn't even enter in when it comes to criminal enterprise. I mean, this has nothing to do with gender. No. It, it would, right. It, it, so we would we would welcome a really uh, outstanding woman president to run. Uh, but this is about the criminal enterprise. It's nothing to do with gender. Make sure everybody understands that. Elizabeth Dole would, would have been a cool lady. She's smart. Yeah. Smart as the whip, Elizabeth yeah. Dole. Uh, you know, if, the, if this problem goes way back in the history of the Clintons and, and the baggage that they're bringing to the table, and this has to do with, you know, her her ability, her qualification, she's not qualified because of the, the, the federal laws have been broken, for one thing. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. Well, yes. I mean, as you say, tip of the iceberg. But one of the things we're also hearing is that she is she has basically uh, um, she is precluded now from being briefed on intelligence matters because of this breach. Even if you know she can wiggle out of that and say it wasn't illegal, and they had to create this whole new term, uh, gross recklessness or whatever carelessness. Uh, because they didn't want to say negligence because that has criminality attached to it. So they invented this new term. Uh, so she wiggled out of that one, as the Clintons often do. Um, but that still would preclude her, apparently, according to some sources I'm hearing, preclude her from being briefed on intelligence matters. How can you have a commander-in-chief who can't be briefed? Go back to Title 18 at the bottom line. And that's where everything's going to hit. Um, they're starting to talk about Title 18 crimes. And Section 4, a prison of felony. She knows crimes are going on. She has to report a single crime. She's a coal, coal conspirator. So, yeah. uh, there are a couple of scenarios here we've talked about. We've talked about the fact that uh, this is a, uh, a not a lawful election and possibly the Provo Marshal General will, will, will step in. We've talked about the possibility that the election will be allowed to stand and we will have Hillary Clinton as, as Commander-in-Chief. Uh, do you see a possibility that Donald Trump could still pull this election out? I can't support either, either one because I'm an American first. Okay, but aside from your preferences, do you, do you see a, a possibility that Trump would be elected? I pray not. All right. Lon, did you have any thoughts on that? I'll, I'll get my opinion. Um, I think that I think because there's so many people that have been afraid to speak up because they've been labeled, they would have been labeled bigots or women haters or whatever. That when, when the people do show up to vote, I think they'll be surprised if they turn out for Trump. I think I think Trump is resonating.